On what equipment will container weighing technology be implemented? Well, in, in truth, uh, most of the port equipment can be uh, fitted with a weighing system. A lot of the equipment that is in the ports already have overload protection devices on them. These are really not really particularly suited to weighing as they've, they've been designed for a particular purpose which is to identify an overload event uh, from the crane, so as to protect the crane system. What we're talking about here is to measure the weight of a container across the range. So overload protection systems typically are focused around the top end and, and they're calibrated to be accurate around the, the top end of the container weights to protect from that overload situation. Of course, with this equipment, you need to be having uh, a system which is accurate across the spectrum of weights that you will get in containers. And what equipment do you think is best suited? There are different solutions. Um, and there is a lot of debate going on in the industry right now to find different solutions that work for different ports. So there are different requirements in different ports around the world, depending on the particular nature of what that port does and how it operates. Some ports do have weigh bridges already in existence and they, they can use weigh bridges. Um, we look at a fitting out and retrofitting the, the cranes and the container handling equipment with a, a weighing system specifically focused around this. Um, there are various pros and cons with, with different methods. With weigh bridges, of course, you've got the potential for a bottleneck coming into the port. You've also got the problem that you, you have to tear off the weight of the, the trailer and the tractor, uh, and that means that you're going to have to send the, the, that tractor and trailer back around over the weigh bridge again when it's empty. Of course, they come in with a container on and they typically go out with another container on, and therefore that's introducing another process if you actually have to go and tear off the, the vehicle weight. And do you think a wider industry discussion is needed on the subject? I think there's a lot of discussion going on right now within the industry um, and very necessary it is too.